This is BBC News, the headlines. President Trump has renewed his fierce rhetoric towards North Korea, saying American military solutions are now locked and loaded if Pyongyang chooses to act unwisely. Mr Trump said he hoped President Kim Jong-un understood the gravity of the situation. There have been reports of protests in Kenya after it was announced that the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, had been re-elected. The Electoral Commission says he has more than a million votes ahead of his rival, but the opposition has complained of fraud. At least 37 people have been killed in Egypt in a collision involving two passenger trains. About 120 others were injured. The crash just outside the northern coastal city of Alexandria was between a train coming from Cairo and another from Port Said.